Hello, you're watching the Star News Update. I'm Himalata Subramaniam. Datuk Sri Najib Tun Razak, who is on a four-day visit to China, has pledged to strengthen Kuala Lumpur-Beijing relations. The Prime Minister says the cordial relations between the two countries, which was established by his father 35 years ago, have been based on trust between the leaders. Deputy Executive Editor Wong Sai Wan gives the report from Beijing. In the morning, the Prime Minister received, uh, was conferred with his honorary doctorate mm -hmm. uh, for his contribution to Malaysian China ties. And uh, he made quite a personal speech of it. He mm -hmm. talked about how uh, he looked back and he thinks about how, what his father has done. Mm -hmm. And, uh, and it, was quite, it was quite pleasant because uh, his mother was there, okay. uh, Tungraha the wife and his two kids, as well as his brother Nazir. Mm -hmm. So it was, it, was, it was quite a family affair. Well, uh, as we speak now, the, the Chinese Premier, Ben Jin Bao, is uh, having a banquet to welcome him. Okay. Uh, earlier, about an hour ago, they had a nice ceremony uh, welcoming him inside the People's Great Hall. Mm -hmm. And uh, after that, the Malaysian and the Chinese officials got down to a discussion, a meeting for about an hour, mm -hmm. and I believe that they have signed four agreements, okay. uh, details of which will be made known to us later. Terengganu Menteri Besar Dato' Ahmad Said has ordered an immediate inspection of newly completed buildings in the state. The move follows Tuesday's collapse of the roof of the 300 million ringgit Gong Bada Stadium. He says the checks will focus on detecting structural defects, cracks and shoddy workmanship. Some of the new buildings are the indoor stadium, the Sultan Mahmud Airport and the swimming complex. He says the state will appoint independent consultants to carry out the checks. On Tuesday, the roof of the Sultan Mizan Zainal Abidin Stadium in Gong Bada, which was completed in June last year, collapsed at 8 a.m. Brazilian Navy divers Wednesday rushed to reach the wreckage of an Air France jet. They have started pulling debris from the Atlantic Ocean where the plane with 228 people went down in the airline's worst disaster in its 75-year history. Distraught relatives who had prayed for a miracle gave up hope as experts were certain that all aboard died on the flight. The plane had left Rio de Janeiro on Sunday night bound for Paris. Authorities were at a loss to explain how a storm could have caused the plane operated by three experienced pilots to crash without sending a Mayday call. The Kelantan Palace says the case between Kelantan Prince Tengku Muhammad Fakri, Sultan Ismail Petra and his 17-year-old Indonesian wife Manohara Odelia Pinot is a personal matter. Manohara, a former model, had fled to Indonesia after leaving a hotel in Singapore where she had stayed with her husband. She had claimed that she was ill-treated by Tengku Muhammad Fakri. The palace said in a statement that it was monitoring the developments, including the allegations made by Manohara. Nohara. For more updates, log on to the staronline.tv. I'm Himalata Subramaniam. Thanks for watching.